You're gonna wanna make sure to watch all the way to the end of this video. We are talking about STEM activities to do with your kids, plus I have a giveaway that's sponsored by Happy. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are talking about STEM activities for kids, science, technology, engineering, and math. I have a couple activity ideas that you can try at home, plus I have a giveaway that's sponsored by Hape. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button. We do educational activities for kids, ideas and inspirations to learn through play, plus a little bit of giveaways here and there, like today's video. So make sure to watch all the way to the end for those details. So let's get started right away with some STEM activities. The first activity we're gonna start off with is a storybook STEM activity. Now I looked around my house and I did not have the story of the three little pigs, but what I did have is this little insert that tells the story from another activity. It was from Lakeshore Learning. But you can find these on your bookshelf. If you don't have them on your bookshelf, look them up online. Or your child might just already know the story, which would be excellent. So the first step is to read the story to your child to familiarize themselves and to find the problem that you're going to work on. In this case, the three little pigs were working on the houses. The pigs build their houses, so that the wolf cannot blow it down. Next, I went around the house and found a whole bunch of materials that we could use this activity. Uh, I have some blocks here. I have some craft sticks down at the bottom, some Play-Doh. So basically anything that you could use to build, you could use Legos, you could use pipe cleaners. I've seen toothpicks and little mini marshmallows before. So basically you present all these materials to your child and you come up with a solution to build a house that can't be blown down. So there's really no right or wrong way to this and you just experiment with your materials using what you have to build something and then at the very end you can actually try and blow it down yourself. This will work with several different stories like the three little pigs. Maybe you want to use the Little Red Riding Hood, Humpty Dumpty, other classic fairy tales will work well and you can provide materials that you have around the house. So this one's just a really easy one that you could do with things that you already own. The next activity I have for you is a marble run. Now you can make marble runs on Pinterest. There's a whole bunch of ideas on making your own marble runs using some straws and some other materials around the house. In fact, I think I even have a video where we used some with straws a long time ago. This one is a game that Happy sent me to review. It's the Quadrilla Marble Run construction set. It's one of many, many kits that they have. This is just one of the smaller sets. What's really cool is this is for ages four and up and there's 28 pieces in here and 30 marbles. And then each one of the pieces, as you can see here on the box, does something a little bit different so you can mix and match and it really creates some great problem solving situations. There's also an app that they have that you can download and you can get some instructions on how to build your own marble run. So I'm gonna pull out the pieces in here and show you what comes with it. You get one main big huge marble swirl here, two of these longer run tracks, and then all of these pieces are the connector pieces, but they're all a little bit different according to color. There's eight of them in total, and a little bit more about those in a minute. Then we have these other pieces here that you could use to build out your marble run, so they become very useful because they all fit a little bit differently. Then you have these little slopes that you use with the main block pieces to help your marbles flow out smoother. These will close up the holes within your own tracks. Here's another one of those. And then here's a nice fun little spinner that if the marble hits it, it will spin. And then you have 30 marbles that go with it. And then it even comes a little bag to store your marbles in. There's also a little instruction booklet here that walks you through the whole thing and tells you what each one of the pieces does and gives you ideas and inspiration to build your own marble track. The reason why this is a great STEM activity is because you're doing a lot of problem solving. And the problem solving comes when you're starting to build your marble run and to make it work from start to finish. Each one of these pieces in here has a different, or a different hole in them so you can learn which ones do what and you can build accordingly. So for instance, this little orange block, the hole goes straight all the way through to the bottom. This one has one hole on the bottom, no hole on this side, but it comes out on this side. The red one's kind of fun because there's a hole on each side and you never know which side it's gonna come out of. This one has a hole, two holes on the bottom, so you don't know which side is gonna come out on the bottom. This one has a hole on the top that comes out the side and it has a bottom hole as well and it can go underneath it and then this one comes out at a 45 degree angle and also has one down here at the bottom. So let's see if I can build a simple one here for you to show you a little bit of what it does and then I'll try to build one of the bigger ones it shows you on the box. I'm going to fit the yellow one it fits right there in the notch and then here is a green one following the picture in the book and here's one of my tracks. I'm going to add a yellow one over here 
and the yellow one doesn't allow it to go all the way through the bottom, so I'm good. And it comes out here on the track, and it should fall in there and then come out right on the bottom. So let's test it out. There you go. Getting a little fancy and added my spinner on there. Let's spun it around. Take that piece off. I'm gonna see if my little, try out my little spiral here. These are great spacers, these purple pieces, so it can make a piece a little bit taller. And then let's try blue one here. So your child will probably do something like this, and I can see right here that it's gonna go completely through this hole and not work, but this is part of the problem solving that they'll do. So you'll put the marble in and see that it didn't work. So we're gonna need something there or we're gonna need to move this over. We could probably use one of these little pieces here, and that would solve the problem. So we can try again. and there was no hole down here. <laughs> so if I wanted to go all the way to the bottom, I probably need to switch out this orange one for maybe this one that has a hole in the bottom. Let's do that. Awesome. This next activity I know probably all of you can do. It involves going and building something over an obstacle. In this case, I just have a flat obstacle. I'm gonna be using this, it's from a, a Lego kit. You can actually buy these little mats and build your Legos on top of them. You can also just draw a body of water. You can draw any obstacle or just make any other obstacle using blocks or what have you. But the object is to take some Legos, a lot here from our classic creator set, and to build a bridge to go over the body of water. To make it easier, you can provide all the Legos that you would possibly need. To make it harder, dwindle it down to use certain pieces and a, um, a certain number of Legos. So they would just build on over to get to the other side. A very simple and easy STEM activity to try and do at home. Using these kinds of pieces would definitely make it a lot easier. These pieces also easier, but you can make it even harder using pieces like this or even smaller pieces like this. Next I have the Happy Junior Inventor set. This is the science experiment. Like the Marble Run, there's also a free app with instructions that you can download. There's actually six experiments in here for ages four and up and 32 pieces. This is really, really cool. So I like that this comes all in one kit, it has a little handle here, you can take it anywhere, but everything you need is inside, plus the board you're gonna use is right there too, it slides right off. You get your instruction booklet that tells you everything that you need to know and how to do all six of the experiments. And then here are all the pieces that come inside the kit that you need to do each one. I'm gonna show you one of the experiments that's inside the kit. It was really easy to do. I did personally get kind of confused, but I quickly switched it around to get it right. But once I did, I was right back on track. This is a very easy and fun project. And what's great is that you can make infinite amount of projects using the materials over and over again on the same kit. I followed the instructions and the instruction guides. They're each numbered and labeled. There's also a sheet that tells you exactly exactly what each label and number letter stands for. Once I was done, I had a cute little pulley system where you just wind it up with the string and you can lift something from the side. All of the activities and experiments in the booklet are very similar. They are easy to build and they have an end result that you can actually work at the very end. Once you're done, all the pieces fit up really nicely back inside the container and you can store it away until you play with it again. details we have a giveaway sponsored by Hape and they are giving away a junior inventor science kit this kit is amazing if you would like to enter to win just leave me a comment down below telling me how you plan on using stem activities in your house then head over to the giveaway link that's in the description box to to officially enter to win you must be 18 years of age or older and have a US postal address and of course I'm always throwing around bonus opportunities to score more entries around social media so be on the lookout for that make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.